That can't be right. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update and a line from uh, Trading Places, the Dukes, uh, Mortimer and Randolph. But in the meantime, very interesting day on the street. Uh, markets rallied. The Dow was up about 200. S&P was up about 24. Uh, markets were up pretty much across the board. Uh, an early sell-off in the NASDAQ took it negative before exploding late in the day and, and finishing up about 70 bucks. At the end of the day, it, it, a lot of things didn't make sense. But one, one thing we saw for sure was volume was extremely light. Now, the rally itself, certainly a relief rally initially based on, uh, you know, the, the non-war, the, the missile firing, and of course, uh, oil sold off based on the same thing, right? Oil was, was, being, uh, was in fear, waiting for the markets, and of course, over-rallied on Friday, only to sell off today about a buck. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, the key level here in oil is about 65. If it breaks below 65, it should go a lot lower. Uh, in the meantime, it's still in the 66s, so we'll see how that trades out at the end of the day. But the markets were weak from a volume standpoint. And of course, the, I think that the most disturbing factor was the VIX was down, but not down anywhere near what you might have thought it would have been on a day with this kind of rally, number one. Number two, the bonds were down significantly early and ended up up on the day. That is not. That also doesn't make a lot of sense in the market. However, we're not going to fight the market. As we said this morning, we said we're going to observe the market because it was at a key or decision-making spot here. So now that it's broken above the near-term resistance on the trend line we were watching, now we have to watch, and if it comes back to there, we may have to look to be buyers here. Again, I'm still in the observation camp. I still look at it as, as a possible tops are in, but we're not going to take any chance here. We're not going to get overly aggressive until we see some volume and volatility come back to the markets. I mean, that's really the simple way to look at markets. Sometimes you have to sit on the sidelines and say sometimes you fish and sometimes you cut bait. Right now we're cutting bait looking for a, a solid footprint to give us the, the next direction. Uh, but certainly it could be up from here. We'll have to see how it plays out. I still don't like them, but again, I'm not going to get in, in front of it either. Uh, Netflix had earnings. Uh, now, I didn't see the earnings number, but I understand they had a lot more new subscribers. Now, they were up, uh, Netflix was up about 30 bucks in the aftermarket, uh, which is about was what expectations were. We'll see how it plays out, you know, going into tonight, over, overnight and into tomorrow. Uh, and we've got a lot more earnings starting to come this week. So we will see how this plays out. But again, I think more what you're going to see in the earnings department is they've already overpriced in the earnings. The market expectations, I think, are too high for the earnings that are going to come out. We saw that with the banks. You saw it with Bank of America today. You saw it with J.P. Morgan on Friday. So we'll see how that plays out. In the meantime, retail sales had a, a, a slight boom. But if you strip out autos, which, again, I don't like stripping out anything, and I'm not going to tell you that. But at the end of the day, they weren't great. But they were the retailers did like them, so the retail stocks did rally a little bit. Overall, again, I think this is a wait-and-see kind of environment. This was not a true rip-your-face-off rally. It was just kind of a steady rally. They gapped higher and kind of worked higher. So we're not going to get too overly aggressive here on either side of the market. We're going to sit here and watch and observe. In the meantime, Bitcoin was uh, down uh, marginally. But again, I, th I think Bitcoin's still a buy-in here somewhere. Gold was up a little bit, but gave way late in the day. Uh, it, it did not. Oh, it was not up anywhere near what it was earlier this morning. And uh, the grain markets, no surprise they sold off. I think the bigger surprise was that uh, soybeans actually were up higher in the day before closing down about 11 cents. I think the wheat was a little bit weaker than I thought it might be. But again, I think these are buying opportunities in the grains. And we, we, we wrote over the weekend that we expected cattle to sell off a little bit. And of course, what did it do? It rallied early, it was up big before failing late in the day. Still closing slightly up on the day, but still closing well off their highs. And hogs, of course, were a little bit lower, but again, coming right down to a support. We're still looking for spots to buy grains. We're still looking for a spot to buy meats. I think that's the, the, the trade from here. And that's what I'd be looking to do. In the meantime, we've got to watch for some new levels to establish whether or not this trend line that was going that was heading us down is going to come to be support or if this is just a false breakout to the upside. Again, a lot, a lot of things to look at, and we're not going to get too aggressive here. I warn you about aggression. It's not a good thing, especially in the markets and especially with volatility still falling, you know, around 17. So let's see how it plays out. Let's check it out uh, tomorrow, and we'll be back tomorrow after the close. This is Bubba's Daily Update, and, of course, 
Don't forget to check out our highschoolinvesting.com website. If you'd like to help us out, we're now in 450 high schools and looking to get into more. You can go to patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. Also, don't forget to get to the Bubba Show every day at 4 to 5 Eastern at libertytalk.fm. This is Todd Bubba Horvitz, Bubba's Daily Update. We'll see you back here tomorrow, same time, same station. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you later.